Hi, I'm Xingzhe. Hi, I'm Hong Yuli. I'm He Wang. In United States, 300,000 new international students graduated in 2018. Most of them are willing to find a full-time position after graduation and apply for H-1B. Data visualization and cleaning. The data set is downloaded from Kaggle, which is a national data, but we are more interested in the H-1B data in the Virginia area. The following is the companies in Virginia, and their corresponding number of sponsors provided from 2011 to 2016. Capital One Service is the top one company in the Virginia, which is located in the Tencents. Here we can see UV is the top seven among all the companies in the Virginia. This graph illustrates the top 20 city salary distribution. Which one is the top one city with a mean salary around sixty thousand dollars per year? Charlottesville places in sixteenth with mean salary around fifty thousand dollars per year. We have three million samples in this national wealth dataset. But we only concern the data in the Virginia, so we select the data in the Virginia, which has around eighty thousand samples. After that, we clean the data, including balancing the number of negative and positive samples, deleting the companies with only a few sponsor records. Finally, we obtain a new dataset which has around thirty thousand samples. Data preprocessing. The label of each sample in our dataset has four possible values: certified, certified withdrawn, denied, and withdrawn. Since about 90% of samples have certified labels, we combine the rest three labels to a new label, failed. Compared to such a large proportion of certified samples, the failed samples still only a small part of the dataset. So we filter the data, the certified data, and try to make the proportion of these two classes closer. Our data set contains nationwide samples. Since we want to keep the scale of this project within Virginia, we extract the data that come from Virginia and classify them based on the city. Full features of each sample are objects. So we need to use one hard encoder to encode each possible values. The problem is, feature job title and feature employer name have more than two hundred thousands of different values. The output of one hard encoder brings us a super high feature dimensionality. We do feature selections on the result of one hard encoder, and select the top hundred important values. And drop the rest of them. Training models. In this H1B classification task, we selected three models to compare their relative performance: SVM, Random Forest, and Edaboost. For each model, grid search was performed to find best hyperparameters. We evaluate our models with three metrics: F1 score, precision, and recall. The result shows that SVM tends to misclassify negative instances to positive ones. It has the highest recall but the lowest precision. The other two both perform better than SVM, which increases precision significantly at the cost of some recall loss, resulting in a higher F1 score at the end. In conclusion, ensemble machine learning algorithms generally perform better than a single predictor in this task. Thus, we decided to use random forest and edaboost as our models to train a H1B visa predictor. This helps international students to evaluate their chance of getting H1B visa certified.